first time I went on the bus, I was three years old. Never. And they made more deep than my mom. She was very proud of me, the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. My friends, let me introduce you another very important person for us today. Bueno, our driver. Me. Buongiorno, Rino. Buongiorno, Rino. Oh. My friends, you <laughs> will awesome. see how important Rino is for us. Because here in Italy, we have jungle rooms on the streets. We're still learning how to drive here in Italy. <laughs> Many times we had the Amalfi Coast together. The Amalfi Coast were talking about one task French domination we had here we had two French domination two Spanish domination one German domination we had everybody here <laughs> and then in front of you the yellow building over there is our city hall the uh, Naples City Hall here you can see the entrance the entrance for the new subway station, the Municipio Station. Uh, we just opened uh, the new station uh, just a few months ago after 10 years. 10 years to make a subway station. Lazy Neapolitans. <laughs> Sometimes we are a little bit lazy, not in this case. Actually, what happened over there was that we started to dig and we found underground part of the Greek town part of the Roman town four Roman shapes and we always told the people the legend about the crocodiles all around the castle now is reality because we also found two skeletons of crocodiles down there <laughs> so here is always like that every time we start a new work we are so supposed to be almost like a tower now you will see the yellow tube stone is composing that building over there it's a very old building, can you see here? So, the yellow tube stone. I was telling you, the Greeks underground started to dig to make this underground aqueduct. From the historical center of Naples, we have excursions. You can walk 30 meters underground, you will reach Toledo Station with beautiful glass mosaics going from the dark blue to light blue. Uh, uh, you're going 30 meters underground with an automatic stair, and it's almost like you're going underground with all the, uh, or underwater with all the reflection, the blue reflections of the mosaics, something beautiful. And now they call me Pompeii, Marco Spritz. So you remember, if you get lost in Pompeii, just ask for Marco Spritz. <laughs> they know me as Marco Spritz. My friends, we have very special lemons here. Our lemons uh, are not regular lemons. We uh, actually, that's because we didn't start with lemons, we started with oranges. But our oranges are small, ugly and bitter. So what we did was to import from Israel a lemon. We grafted on our oranges tree, so we gave life to a new kind of lemon that you can find only here, which has again a very strange name. I'm sorry, my friends. But we have too much fantasy. Our, uh, our lemons are called the feminine lemons, which means homosexual. So we have homosexual. We are at the Limoncelle factory. That's where we're headed, the Amalfi Coast. Okay. I know that's fine, it's your money. You spend it with us. Smells like lemon. Where are we? Limoncelle factory. Oh, yeah. How's it going, Tom? They got lemon everywhere. Have you never seen so many lemons? Oh, lemon everywhere. It's a lemon soap. Look here on the left side. Look now, Reno is lowing down. Look at that. Huh? But, my friends, they're pretty healthy here, <laughs> going up and down every day. It's funny because at the end of that stir leads the police station, <laughs> so in case of emergency, you need to be bold to get up there and maybe you will arrive there, you're already dead. <laughs> oh, fun time for a driver, but we are bigger. <laughs> The Amalfi Coast is very famous for older riders. It's beautiful to drive with a motorcycle on the Amalfi Coast. Pretty scary. Actually, last, last year was terrible because we had... Take a look at that. 
bravissimo Rino, please make an applause to our driver, grande Rino. <laughs> so last year was just terrible because we had a lot of Korean people renting scooters on the Amalfi Coast. Maybe they had some, uh, I don't know, some commercial spot with the Amalfi Coast and scooters. So they arrived here but they had no idea where they were going to drive so many times they just drove into the walls of the Amalfi Coast. <laughs> Friends, look how beautiful this Positano seems to be an activity scene made inside the rocks. Then you can see something particular, which is all the, col the, the, the houses with different colors. This is a fisherman town, and this is a fisherman tradition. My friends, look up on the mountain, you will see the whole mountain. You can see a big hole inside the mountain over there. Can you see on the right side up there? My friends, the whole mountain, you can walk inside that hole. Uh, very famous is the Amalfi Drive, the street we're driving right now. But actually, we have another Amalfi Coast that you can walk. It's called the Path of Gods. There is another ancient Roman path walking up on the mountains is something beautiful we have hiking excursions over there my mother by the way was the first guide of the region having excursions over there you can walk from here to amalfi uh, on the milky Road. something beautiful but you need six hours <laughs> it's pretty hard but it's something beautiful when you're up there trust me mix the three colors of the amalfi coast yellow like the lemons and the sun, green like the vegetation and blue like the sky and the sea. Those are the three colors, typical colors of the Amalfi Coast. My friends, Positano is a very rich, rich place. You can find in Positano the most expensive hotels of Italy. Now, the fashion changed a little bit for the rich people because in the past the rich people used to rent villas here in Positano and now not anymore they understood what I already understood since many years we pay too much too many taxes in Italy so they prefer to come with their big yacht they stay in the bay and with tenders with little boats they reach Positano so now the fashion changed a little bit. Now, also, the rich VIPs needs to spare some money. <laughs> this year on the Amalfi Coast we had all Hollywood. My friends, it was amazing this year about it. Was actually, you can imagine in case of emergency to drive with an ambulance on the Amalfi Coast. It's just terrible. Here on the Amalfi Coast, you can't find big uh, hospitals. We have only all the, the the rooms are facing the sea. Look at that. <coughs> they have an elevator going to the sea level, and at the sea level, you will find two little beaches and a little harbor, and you will also find. Uh, Get ready, you will see now how beautiful it is. The statue of the two lovers here, the two lovers talking about the Amalfi Coast. And look how beautiful it is here. With the tunnel and the three colors of the Amalfi Coast. Look at the street sign on the right side made of the ceramics. Look how beautiful is Praiano. My friends, Praiano is one of the smaller, uh, smallest town on the Amalfi Coast. But my friends, if I can suggest you, if you have any idea to come and to stay on the Amalfi Coast for vacation, this is a good spot. It's not crowded like Positano, like Amalfi. You are in the middle of the Amalfi coast. You have very good connections from the sea and from the street. 
Now my friends, look how beautiful is the church. Saint January Church. My friends, look how beautiful. Look at that. Never be cleaned. And look how shining. Beautiful is the city celebration. Look, this is the city celebration and the picture on the wall. They uh, make beautiful designs with the candles in the little square in front of the uh, of the church. It's beautiful. This is the main square of Praiano, the big square of Praiano, almost like the Vatican here on the left side. Look how big. 